Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So uh, welcome to your readings for the month of October 2018. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and returning if you are doing so. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And because these are general readings, the energies can be switched. They can go either way. So just take it as it resonates for your specific situation. And if, does, if something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit because then that will only confuse you. Yeah. Um, I do want to extend a very happy birthday to all of the Libras, since in the Western system, we are in Libra season. Happy, very, a very happy birthday to you and a very happy birthday to the October Scorpios. Yes, because we will be moving into your season in late October. Now, if you are you, if you resonate more with the Eastern system, of which I do personally, then we are still technically in Virgo season. So very happy birthday to the Virgos out there that resonate with the Eastern system. Yeah. Um, if you don't know which side you resonate with more, uh, I have provided some links in the description box below. If you like, you can go to those links and you can put in your birth uh, data and calculate your, your birth chart for both the Western and the Eastern system and see which one you resonate with. For me personally, I grew up believing I was a Taurus sun, but then when I started investigating and learning about Eastern astrology, I learned that I'm actually an Aries sun and that kind of fits a lot better. I resonate with that much more. There is no absolute answer as to which system it's, is better. It's really all about what you resonate with the most. And of course, depending on no matter which side you're on, still watch the videos. They can resonate at whichever, in whichever way is best for you. Okay. That is all your decision. Either way, the readings are here for you to watch. Yeah. So, um, just a little bit of shop talk. I am available for personal readings. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can get my email address from the description box below, as well as a list of all of the readings that I offer. Um, if you cannot decide which reading would work best for you after going through the different options, you're still welcome to email me and we can chat a little bit about what is going on with your situation and I will help you decide which reading would be best for you. Yes. I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. If you would like to schedule a time to meet with me and have an in-person reading, in -person reading for face to face, you can find the link to the website for Om Shanti in the description box below. And once you get to the website, you will find their phone number. You are encouraged to give a call and let them know if you would like to book a reading ahead of time. Otherwise, walk-ins are 100% absolutely welcome. Just come on down whenever you have a chance. Yeah. For the readings this month, we're doing the same as we did as last month. So we're go using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, you guys. It's so pretty. And then, of course, we're finishing out with my best friends, the unicorns. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. So... I believe that's it. So without further ado, let's get to the readings, guys. <laughs> Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the month of October 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get straight into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Virgo for the month of October 2018 to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgo. So I'm already, I'm seeing purple here for you. Um, so you could be dealing with a, um, a psychic attunement, a crown chakra activation, a third eye opening, third eye activation, uh, some sort of spiritual enlightenment downloads from the universe um, spiritual ascension awakening that's a pretty beautiful energy Virgo it might be kind of tumultuous though not gonna lie spiritual awakenings can be 
can be pretty shocking, can very much be a, a tower moment like thing type situation. Virgo. So well, let's see. Let's give a few more shuffles here and let's see. I'm seeing yellow for you too. Illumination. I'm also seeing green. So this um, spiritual awakening could be illuminating things for you. It could be influencing you to uh, reassess your the alignment of your willpower. Um, you could be aligning that to the will of the universe. You also could be going through a heart chakra activation or opening uh, because of this. Okay, Virgo. You're set. You're ready to go. So let's see what's going on here for you. Let's just cut the deck. Boop. All right, Virgo. Overall energy. <laughs> Oof. Okay, the Seven of Swords. Deception. It could be you. It doesn't. It, now this doesn't have to be um, cheating on someone or anything like lying or anything like that. You could just be flying under the radar right now. Okay, you could just be very secretive or just closed off about what's really going on with you. Um, again, if you're going through an ascension, a psychic attunement, um, a, an awakening, something like that then you really may not want to communicate about it. You may just really be secretive about it. Uh oh we've got the lovers. We've got the king of pentacles, here are you. And we've got the page of pentacles. Okay. Um, this is interesting. I feel like, Virgo, you might be becoming aware of a connection with someone. And you may be wanting to offer something to someone, but you're not communicating about it. You're being secretive about it. You're keeping it under wraps. You're just <laughs> not communicating about it. That King of Pentacles could be you. It could be someone else that you're connecting with. You could be connecting with an, another Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn. Or you, there could just be someone that's, that you're connecting with here um, that is very much of a King of Pentacles status, you know, very secure, um, grounded, financially abundant or financially successful, wealthy. Now, on the other hand, with the Seven of Swords here, You could just be very selfish about a certain situation when it comes to a connection with someone, with the lovers here. And you're, self, you're being selfish in the fact that you're keeping it to yourself. You're not really communicating it. Even though you have this page of pentacles here, this energy of the page of pentacles of wanting to make some sort of offer or communicate in some way, offer commitment also but you're still still you're keeping it to yourself it's like uh, the seven of swords energy is saying to me like you're just keeping it under wraps you don't want anyone to know okay for the first half of your month um the surrounding energies you have the knight of swords well gee virgo if you want to communicate something why don't you just do it I don't understand. I mean, this is <laughs> this is really pretty contradictory. You've got the seven of swords here, but then you've also, which is like, which is speaking of like keeping something to yourself, um, being kind of deceptive about something, and yet you've got the knight of swords in the sense that someone really wants to communicate. Now, this could be communication that's just less than tactful. Hmm. Knight of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. This is another Virgo energy here, okay? This is someone that is very stable, um, independent, single. So Virgo, you might be wanting to communicate to someone that you see in this way as very stable and independent and secure, and secure, not insecure, secure. Financially, uh, uh, um, um, materially, physically, and it's almost like you, someone wants to rush in towards this person. But yet you're keeping that under wraps. You're really not communicating it. 
It's like I'm getting an energy of you wanting to rush in and be the Knight of Shining Arm Armor in some way. Hmm. Second set of surrounding energies for the first half of the month. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Feeling trapped. Eight of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Queen of Cups. Again, more secretive energy. Now, this is someone that is very much in tune with their emotions. Okay, but to me, the Queen of Cups is an individual that's, she's in tune with her emotions, she's emotionally balanced, um, and she's very psychically aware, but she doesn't communicate. She doesn't really, she doesn't really express her emotions that much. She just kind of keeps them to herself. And this is the energy that I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers and the King of Pentacles. It's like someone is very much in tune with their emotions, but they feel trapped because for some reason they feel like they, they cannot communicate it. I'm going to be very honest with you guys here. With the King of Pentacles here, it might be ego and pride that's keeping this communication from coming forward. Yeah. That's icky. That's pretty icky. Um, the current challenge here, we have the Two of Pentacles, keeping everything in balance. I'm here and keeping up the facade, juggling the Two of Pentacles is coupled with <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. And I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm sorry for laughing. It's just, I just really feel like Virgo or whoever I'm connecting or whoever is connecting with you, Virgo, they're doing this to themselves, keeping themselves out in the cold because they're balancing or they're, they're, they're doing this balancing act. They're doing this juggling act. And it's all a facade, to, to, to be quite honest. They're just playing the game keeping up appearance, but it's effectively feel, making them feel left out in the cold, neglected in some way. It's almost, I'm almost, I'm getting an energy of someone, like a, a young kid being upset because they can't go out and play with their friends. They see everybody else outside playing and having fun, being free, happy, go lucky and all that. And here they are stuck in the house, having to keep up I don't know, with the chores, with the appearance, or whatever. Just keep up stuck in the position that they that they put themselves in while everyone else around them outside is, is outside having fun, being free, being kids, not stuck with all these burdens or all these responsibilities. The potential outcome for the first half of the month, you've got the Knight of Cups, an offer, an invitation. That's coupled with whoo, the Queen of Swords. Now, are you making an offer to the Queen of Swords? Or are you this Queen of Swords that's saying, look, I'm gonna make this offer and I don't and I'm not gonna I'm not going to care about what other people say about it. I'm not about the drama. This is what I want, so I'm gonna go for it. Straight up, point blank, plain and simple. But also, there could be a fear here. If someone were to make this offer towards whoever, whomever is the Queen of Swords, are you going to be rejected? Now, there's probably a possibility that you will be rejected because the Queen of Swords is not about the drama. So if someone's coming forward with all kinds of baggage and the Queen of Swords sniffs it out, you know for a fact she's going to cut you down real quick. For the second half of the month, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Three of Wands. So waiting for a return on your investment here. Okay, the Three of Wands is coupled with Justice. Okay, so this really is a return on an investment here and you're going to get whatever is just. This is another energy of reaping of what you, reaping what you've sown here. That's which is really much um what I've been hearing, what I hear mostly when I see the 7 of pentacles. But this is that very similar energy. Whatever you put your time and attention into, you're going to get a return on that. But is that what you really want a return on? Justice is saying we can only give you a return on what you've invested in. 
So now this could be a good thing. I mean, with, with career, if you've been working really hard on, you know, your career and your finances and everything, and you've been doing good work on that, then that's what you're going to get. And that's excellent. But is that truly what you want, though, Virgo? Yes, it is. Okay, great. Then you have nothing to worry about. But I just, I feel like some of you are kind of like, oh, but that's not really what I wanted. And I'm getting that from justice. Because the I'm really just kind of seeing the universe be like, well, I, I don't know what you want us to tell you. <laughs> second set of surrounding energies for the second half of the month you've got the two of swords stalemate indecisiveness not seeing clearly or refusing to see it clearly and to be quite honest i'm getting an energy an energy of refusing to take responsibility for someone for one's part in their in the situation and it's very, this is very similar. This is very much tied to the three of wands and justice. It's like you want a return on an investment, but you didn't really put much, you didn't really invest much into the situation that you're looking for the return from. And so now that you're getting a return on something completely different that you didn't necessarily want, you're in this two of swords energy of stalemate of saying, well, I'm I, I, not really wanting to see the truth. Not really wanting to take responsibility for your role in the situation. This could be you, Virgo. It could be the other person, too. Two of Swords is coupled with the Eight of Cups. And so now that someone is walking away, you're kind of like, well, what happened? But it's pretty obvious what happened. It's just that you don't want to see it. Again, I have the universe in my head looking at me, looking like, uh, I don't know what you want us to tell you. Meh. I'm sorry, Virgo. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't so fun, is it? <laughs> okay. The challenge for the second half of the month, the Knight of Wands. Wishy-washiness. The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Chariot. Okay, so, all right, cool. So it looks like a fire has been stoked underneath, under your ass. Well, that's cool. I guess that's a good thing. But this is a challenge. Because now that the fire has been stoked, what are you going to do? You could be connecting with the Cancer. Could be connecting with a Libra. Now, Libra is the opposite of Virgo, okay? Um, but we've got we've got all of the signs here. We've got Gemini. We've got the, all the elements, excuse me. But specifically, we have Gemini, Libra, and Cancer. We also have you, Virgo, but you're... Oh, well, well, you're depicted in the Nine of Pentacles. You're also depicted in the King of Pentacles, but that could also be another Earth sign, Capricorn, or... Taurus. Um, and then you also have more air, so it could be Gemini uh, or Aquarius with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Also another water sign, Pisces or, excuse me, Pisces or um, Scorpio. Okay, so yeah, we do have all the signs here. We have all the elements and all the signs. But this challenge being the knight of wands and the chariot is like you're really gonna have to step it up and this is why this is a challenge you're really gonna have to step it up and you're gonna have to come with more than just passion and fire with the knight of wands you're gonna have to come with more than just wishy-washiness of being here one moment gone the next coming through whenever you please and this is a challenge because i feel like either you or the person that you're connecting with is this is how they've approached you or how they've approached the situation in the past. But you're going to have to step it up. You're going to have to come through with the passion and the fire, sure. You're going to have to show somebody that you really want this with the Knight of Wands, but also you're going to have to temper it with emotional balance of the chariot. 
And I'm also getting an, a, 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 um, an energy of stability because chariot is cancer, okay? Um, so, and, and cancers are very much about stability and family, all right? They're not fucking around when it comes to family. So someone really has to step it up and move from move out and move out of an energy of non-committal nature. Okay. The potential outcome for the end of the month, for the second half of the month, you've got <laughs> the Empress, Taurus or Aries. The Empress is coupled with Temperance, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. All right, Virgo. Look at you now. The end of your month, your potential outcome is very fertile for balance. Recon reconnection, reconciliation. That's very good, Virgo. That's very, very good. Abundance. I like seeing that, especially with all of the, you know, the tumultuous energy <laughs> you've got going on here. But I'm... um. I'm getting an energy here with the with the Empress and the Temperance card. Uh, I'm really getting an energy of starting over. Of uh, reconnecting through friendship and people balancing out balancing out each other's energies in this way. And having the fertile, abundant environment and energetic reality or energetic environment in order for this temperance, this rebalancing, this, um, you know, to happen. But this is also very patient energy, very, very patient energy between with the combination of the empress and temperance. Temperance itself specifically speaks to patience, but then the, with the empress, the empress is extremely patient, extremely loving, extremely compassionate and caring. It's not the type of energy to require her offspring or her children or those she cares for to be anything other than other than themselves giving them the utmost balance and um um the utmost balance or the most environment in order to really flourish in when she's positively aspected of course that can that sometimes can lead to some sort of smothering energy but what I'm seeing here is a good energy, okay? For reconciliation, for reconnecting, for growing. Together. And also individually while you two grow together, okay? All right, Virgo. So let's get into your oracle guidance here from the unicorns. For Virgo, for the month of October, what do you got for us, unicorns? What you got? What you got? What you got? Okay, we got something. Yeah, all right, cool. Excellent. Here we go. I'm going to show this too. Expansion is at the bottom of the deck. Spread your wings and soar. Share your message and shine your light. Show the world what you're made of. Expand, Virgo. This is really speaking to more authenticity too, expansion. But you also have abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Okay, so with all of this energy that's going on, and especially with this final outcome for the end of the month here, yes, abundance. Absolutely. Abundance. Okay? The universe is on your side here. You've also got ooh, passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. And you've also got healer. Wow. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Some of you are not necessarily aware of this, but Virgo's, yes, Virgo energy is very much a healing energy. Okay? That's excellent. And in terms of passion, let your passions drive you. <clears throat> Look, I mean, this is your challenge for the second half of the month, but this is a very passionate energy between the Knight of Wands and the Chariot. To go with it. 
yes, it's a challenge. And I feel like it's a challenge at this point because of everything that's gone down in the past surrounding this situation. And there could be an energy, especially with this Queen of Swords here. Where is she? Where is she? Here she is. Espe yeah, look, with the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords might very well be like, really? You want to come to me up with this now? After everything we've been through, you want to come to me with this now? And either you, Virgo, or the other person that's coming towards you, Virgo, is kind of like, yeah, I do, actually. Like, I really do. This is your challenge for the second half of the month. Yeah, I really do, actually. So the, then the Queen of Swords is like, prove it. You guys know that um, pest control commercial where this woman gets up in the middle of the night and goes down to the kitchen and sees this big old man in a rat suit standing in front of the refrigerator with the door open, eating out of the refrigerator, and she goes, you disgust me. And he goes, prove it. It's kind of the energy I'm getting here from the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Woo! But again, if this is something you're passionate about, Virgo, or cross watcher, if you're very, if you're passionate, Virgo, if this is something you're passionate about, or if you're a passionate about this Virgo individual, then let it drive you. Passion. Then prove it. Do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. There is nothing to be afraid or ashamed of. And don't worry about whether or not there is no space or no energy left for this because obviously there is abundance, the empress, temperance. Obviously there is. All right, Virgo? So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to reconnecting with you guys again for the month of November. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.